Lou is speaking right now in front for the Court of Consciousness system. One thing that kind of bothers me is that, um, one thing bothering me is that the way I talk and the way I look and write is different and I write very one way and I speak very different way and writing is easier for me to express myself um anyways but that is connected to autistic masking and how as DID alters in an autistic brain because we have both that makes it so different ones of us have different levels of masking and I can't mask our speech how others are able to more and talks differently depending on person but yeah that's not what I want to talk about today what I want to talk about today something that really bothers me is that um some places are reminiscent of old time factory work because realistically modern retail work is inspired by old factory work and there is still factory work but the school system in the 1800s was built to make more factory workers and then that kind of work was changed over time and with the invention of the automobile in the 1940s and Ford and these different companies they were able to streamline and out of the industrial revolution as well in the late 1800s and earlier 1900s has been mass booms and with world war ii there's been mass booms in productivity and it's all been leading up to the highly dystopian consumerist capitalistic dystopia we now find ourselves living within and like the best of dystopias it is covered in the facade of a utopia but one of the things that really pisses me off about it is that there are still workers who are physically harmed due to negligent working conditions. This is something that really bothers me and makes me sad and angry because so many workplace deaths and injuries and other things could have been prevented if these people were not cutting corners, if these companies were not just go, 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 uh, manufacturing this false sense of urgency and guilting and using their workers like these cogs in a machine, corroding them slowly over time until their battery wears out and then they toss them and that's not okay. And it doesn't matter how long you've worked for a place, they do it to you too. And with workplace injuries that are reminiscent of old time work crossing into modern time retail, modern time work um one of these such examples our beloved partner our systems partner so we're a did system we're autistic we have a partner who lives with us who we love very much and who is our partner they come home with workplace injuries from working at the deli at a safeway we have worked before as well when when had to 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 before was on ssi or there was um sometimes has in past briefly but um that's getting off topic but but there are sharp objects and there and there's gloves and different things and there's training they give you but they do not give you enough training it's only like two days usually or sometimes if you're really lucky they might make it three days but there's like a brief like there's the beginning period stop stay on stay on topic so they go and every single month it is at least like two injuries two new injuries two new cuts that they get on their hands from the equipment or different things and they weren't having these problems at the other Safeways they've worked at. It is this specific Safeway that they're getting workplace injuries at least once a month, minimum. 
And the prob another problem with that is, um, cause they've, they've been on mostly just working for, for different various ones. But one of the problems is they don't have good medical equipment for when people get injured. They just have these flimsy little band-aids and there's these very, very cheap um, medical supplies. It is not the kind that they need for, for the kinds of injuries the workers are sustaining. And so they'll get these cuts on their hands from the equi equipment because like accidents ha happen and and then the band-aids will put it on but then the blood it just bleeds into the glove and it, they'll get like it just it, they just have to keep working they just have to keep working even with even with the injury and it just bleeds through the band-aid and then when they come home we have to patch them up and we have to like help help them be better so that it can actually heal and they have to clean it and then patch it correctly and and this is a problem because first off if they weren't having injuries at the other places they shouldn't be getting injuries from this one and this place is is obviously causing them damages to their body and 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 secondly they need to have better medical equipment at these workplaces so that people's partners are not being harmed when they come home to them and they're not having injuries on them and so the, these things like people are if it's like once a month or more and it, it's only it's not been that bad yet but also i know like i had we had to take care max took care of someone who got hit in the back of the head with a metal pipe once we didn't want to take care of them and it did breed some di difficulties in that relationship at the time but because it was already a strange relationship and then we had to take care of this person for for a couple months because they had a very serious concussion that was causing them pain and to throw up and to not be able to function it was a workplace injury and um got hit in the back of the head with a metal pipe because someone someone wasn't paying attention and they like dropped a metal pipe in the back of that person's head and so i had to take care of them myself for a long time now it was very difficult but it was because they, ha they had no one else at the time I was the only person there so even though I didn't like it um I had to because I was the only person there who could um this person is no longer in my life they're no longer a friend but I don't regret that I I helped them during that time because you just have to do whatever you can to survive and I understand that um but this these things are happening all the time all different workplaces, all different people are coming home with injuries. And it just seems like with all of our modern advances and conveniences, this it, this is very dystopian. And it's very disturbing when people you love or or may, even just like friends and other people, um, past people, like people keep getting hurt. And they should have actually good, not just these flimsy, stupid band-aids. They should get them actual medical equipment. Ideally, they sh they should have actually like how schools have nurses' office in in schools in America, public schools. A lot of them have like a designated nurses' office. Why don't we have that for for workplace environments? Why don't they have like be better medical things than like flimsy band-aids and it just shouldn't be happening. And I guess I just, I, I'm tired of seeing people I care, care about getting hurt because of the negligence of their workplace and taking advantage of them, exploiting them for cheap labor and then they're not having even good medical supplies to help them and and them coming home with injuries. I don't like that. And it makes me very sad. And so I wanted to talk about that today because that's been on my mind.